What you're about to see is my story. It's the story of my experiences in Otoroa. I thought at first I'd abandon it, you know, just walk away. But in the end, I decided to go through with it, so uh, here it is. my last film. So what we're after, Kevin, is a, is a feel-good doco, kind of like Heartland, but with more flair. Getting the guts of what's really going on in your role and getting a real feel for what it means for the people there. That sounds cool. Uh, in an in-your-face, fly-on-the-wall style, so it has a deconstructive quality. With Stuart, basically there the whole time filming you. Although, after a while, you won't even notice him. Hi, Stuart. Look, I told you to tell the score. I know, um... It's scheduled the next week. I haven't even seen the bloody thing. Kevin Smith! G'day. How are you? Good. So, Susan's been filling in, has she? Yeah. Yep. We're really happy about this. It's going to be a good show. Really good show. Great to have someone with your profile on board. You'll get your shirt off, won't you? <laughs> yeah. Good. Is this on? Um, yeah, I thought we'd get it all from day one. The, the, the concept, the idea, give it a... Off. Off. Um, so, we'll get all your responses on take two. Because the public's interested in Kevin Smith. Uh, what you think, how you feel about things. Yeah, but the show's still about the shellfish, the, the gooey duck, eh? It, absolutely, it's all about the gooey duck. And this new discovery, what makes it so valuable and, and what it's going to mean to the town. It, yeah, that is absolutely the handle. It is a feel-good story about a small town that's had some really good news and, you know, it's really going to take off. No, nah, it's... Stephen! Um, so, just, it's a small crew, you, you and Stu, we'll keep in touch. Loved you in Once the Warriors, by the way. Wasn't actually in once for Warriors. In the game I'm in, the entertainment industry, you can run into one or two phonies. But out here in the country, there's a warmth there. An honesty, a directness in people that we in the city seem to have lost. In a place like Uruoa, people still care for each other. And to me, that's what real New Zealand's all about. The New Zealand I love. And that's why I wanted to make this film. Well, thanks very much, Dave. Appreciate taking the time out of your busy day. Well, that's OK. And listen, mate, anything you want, any assistance with anything at all, you name it, just ask me. Cheers, Dave. Appreciate it. Good on you. The whole town's really excited. Yep, it's going to do good things for you, Ra. And it's a big thing having someone of your calibre here, Kev, to make a film about us. You know, good documentary about the town that's out there, being seen. Yeah, it's going to make a difference. No doubt about it. Because you know we're without your profile, eh? <laughs> well, do you really? Do you want a roll camera or whatever you call it? Yeah, OK. Cool. Stu, do you want to roll some tape? <clears throat> so, Dave. Do you think the discovery of the amazing properties of the Skooey Duck will have a, a big impact on the town? Yeah, for sure, for sure, Kev. Uh, already the place is just, just booming. Uh, no, it's going to transform the town, no question. How'd you get on? Oh, you're good. You're good. Decent size, eh? Yeah, well, that's the usual size. OK. So what, are they pretty plentiful down there? Yeah, well... No one's ever taken much interest in them up to now. Just tell me, Bob, how much are these be worth? We're getting $100 a kilo. And that's in the shell. Amazing. Now, well, there it is, the gooey duck. Suddenly worth its weight in gold. The gooey duck is a burrowing mollusk that lives 10 to 20 metres below the water line. It's normally found about a metre below the seabed, and this accounts for the long siphon, which protrudes above the seabed and enables the gooey duck to flush water through its system, um, along with the nutrients on which it lives. You know. And is it only found in the waters off Uruguay? Well, as far as we know, yes. Now, probably the key thing you need to know is that the gooey duck contains a hormone called luberin, and this enhances the rigidity of the penis during erection. It actually works in a similar way to the drug Viagra. And of course, like Viagra, it, it lengthens the period of the erection. It, it's funny that it should work like that and look so... Um... 
I'm sorry? It, it looks like a penis. Does it? So, Bob and Nolene, you're the only holders of the goo duck quota. That's right, yeah. Oh. We will be. So you're, you're sitting pretty, really. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Oh, it's great news for us. Mm. Up until this discovery about the gooey duck, it was just a little sideline for us. For the local market. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't much demand for it at all, but... Because our main business is in craze. Yeah. But, oh, no. It's been marvellous. Yeah. Pretty good, all right. Because it's been very tough, hasn't yeah. it, Bob? It has. It's been tough. It's the break we needed, really. But, oh, it's been a gamble. Bob, could I ask you, have you tried the gooey duck yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I have, yeah. Does it work? I'll put it this way, when it comes to the bedroom, I've got no complaints. Oh, no. Nothing to be embarrassed about, Bob. Not in that department. <laughs> Oh, that's attractive. Yeah, now see, what we've got here is, uh, this is your gooey, this is your tongue. Yeah. Your gooey duck tongue. It's like, yeah. And um, we dry it, and then we, um, we shred it. So you're planning to smoke it? No, no, it's a suppository. Hold down the trail and um, you can give me a hand, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just pulling your chain, mate. Right, yeah. oh, that's good. No, we've experimented, and uh, this is the um, this is the best way of taking it. Hmm. Comes on pretty strongly. Oof. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. You okay? Mm. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, if you could excuse me, <laughs> excuse me for a minute, Jay, 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 Jay. I've had another smoke. Oh, hey. <laughs> so, uh, Dave, can you tell me, um, tell me about this? Well, it's a it's a statement, isn't it, Kev? Uh, you know, with this resource, this valuable resource available to us now, uh, which is going to translate into a considerable increase in the local revenue of the town, the local economy. It only seemed fitting to uh, erect this. So, this is an exercise in promoting the image of Uruoa. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's a, it's an exercise in promoting the image of the town, Kev. Yep. You know, to put us on the map, uh, like the lemon and pyro, bottle and pyro, and the carrot and um, alacuni. Yeah. But it'd be fair to say, Dave, that not everyone's happy with the exploitation of the mollusk, are they? Oh, you're talking about the greenies, aren't you? Well, they're always going to stick their oar in, aren't they? You're always going to get your knockers, the malcontented minority, or whatever you want to call them. Well, it's going to stuff up the coastline, what they're planning. It's going to wreck the delicate balance of nature, you know, because this is one of the few stretches of New Zealand coastline still untouched. Some people would say, why well, this fuss about a few shellfish? The hoi hoi is a unique part of the ecosystem. Every organism has its unique role in the natural order, and it just makes me sick that men think that the environment is just there to help them get their rocks off. And what we're saying to them, you know, is... Why don't you just go and jack each other off and leave nature alone? Gooey duck and chips, $48. I suppose I should give it a try. Well, here we go. Looks good. You're brave, mate. Sorry? You're brave, mate. <laughs> People normally give us a takeaway. On. Do they, do they not eat it here? No, they don't, mate. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. What? It's really chewy. Um, it's like soft rubber. It's like chewing a condom, man. Not, not I've ever chewed them. I find ministers for less offences than this. And I think the Prime Minister really has to understand that this is seriously damaging race relations in New Zealand and is opening up gaps. The Prime Minister must bring this minister into line or fire her. Kia ora, good evening. A Libya collision between an American spy plane and a Chinese fighter aircraft has punched the two supercars into a tailspin. The Chinese fighter crashed with the American plane... Excuse me. Which, excuse me. <laughs> An apology is not an apology if, within less than five minutes, you've actually repeated the comment. But the word Holocaust is a problem.